Well, here I am at Woodyard Gardens. I am at the entrance and uh, this is funny. You think I would know better? This is a borrowed umbrella from Woodyard Gardens. I completely forgot my own. You would think, living in Victoria, you always have an umbrella. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't pack very well. Oh well, uh, brought my lunch. So anyways, let's go on this journey. It's gonna be fun. My favorite place, Butcher Gardens, Victoria, British Columbia. I'll try to give you some facts along the way. I just picked up my season's pass, so I'll have many journeys of Butcher Gardens. Looking forward to it. start here, the laurel walk. So we'll start here. I picked the right day to come here. Despite a little rain, it is just, excuse my language, it's spectacular. This journey to my favorite place. It's too bad it's not smell vision because despite having a vicious cold, I can still sp smell everything. It is unbelievable. And hopefully there's some hummingbirds up here.
Here we are, the sunken garden. The limestone deposit was exhausted in 1908 and the quarry abandoned. Mrs. Butchart conceived the idea of transforming the barren pit into a garden and thus the sunken garden came into being. In 1910, she planted Lom Lombardy poplar trees in an attempt to block the view of, of the cement factory. By 1912, the development of the garden was underway and was completed in 1921. This is the shot seen around the world, the sunken garden. Take you through a different van few vantage points of it. It's a very accessible garden. Wheelchair friendly, walker friendly. It's not a hike, it's a gentle stroll. how many times this has been in a photograph. Of which I myself have many. The sunken garden of the truck gardens. Heading down the stairs into the sunken garden. Transition of two of colors to daffodils to beautiful green grass. This is what it looks like, honestly.
the mound. The landscape com consultant from Seattle, F.J. Cole, assisted Mrs. Butchart with a plan for the east portion of the Sunken Garden. The more formal areas were designed by landscape artist Raoul Robillard in conjunction with Mrs. Butchart. Mrs. Butchart parted, provided the manpower from his workforce at the cement factory between the loading of boats at the Todd Inlet Wharf. William Westby, who was Mrs. Butchart's head gardener, laid the garden out. He was responsible for the mammoth task of draining the floor of the quarry and bringing in tons of topsoil from neighboring rock from neighboring farms. Rock debris was piled and covered with topsoil to form the beds. Abundance of beauty. little resting place so I should sit and have my lunch and I am going to <laughs> I might get a wet bum but hey that's okay this is where I'm gonna have my lunch this will be my view right here this is what looks like lunch looks like a bubbly a Dan Afton yogurt apple that I sliced up, a peanut butter square that Jared made, and a Greek yogurt, and I remembered a spoon. Woo! So, I showed you my view. Yay me! Fortunate me. So here I am in my little Heidi spot. Just had my yogurt, had my apple. It is just a day. Truly, a day. Had my lunch, it was delicious. I need to drink more water. I can hear the guns in the background at Heels Rifle Range.
Butchart Gardens. Jenny Butchart began to shape this magnificent landscape in 1904. She established in the style of the grand estates of the period several distant gardens to evolve to evoke a range of aesthetic ex experiences. An, an abandoned limestone quarry was transformed into the dramatic sunken garden, a reflection of the early 20th century beautification movement and an exceptional achievement in Canadian gardening history. Through successive generations of the Butchart family, this site has retained much of its original design and continues the Victorian tradition of seasonally changing the outstanding floral displays. The quarry walls. The barren rock face of the quarry presented Jenny Butchart with a challenge. She hung in a bosun's chair to plant ivy in the crevices in the rock walls. Sunken Garden Lake. The deepest part of the quarry floor was sealed, lined, and allowed to fill with water from a natural spring forming a lake. 40 feet deep in places, Mr. Bartchart stocked the pool of trout which would rise to the surface to feed when he clapped his hands.
is not smell a vision but oh my goodness. The fragrance, even with a cold, is truly remarkable. What is that funny word? Remarkable. Azaleas, rhododendrons, the red ones are rhododendron, I know that for sure. water. grandson of Mr. and Mrs. Butcher devised the spectacular fountain with the assistance of his plumber Adrian Butler and his electrician Vic Dawson. The Ross Fountain commemorated the 60th anniversary of the Butcher Gardens when it was installed in 1964.
Fountain Lookout. <clears throat> Directly behind the Ross Fountain lies Todd Inlet, and the site of the Vancouver Portland Cement Company established in 1904. Adjacent to the Todd, the plant at Todd Inlet was a village that housed the employees. Lost your way off in the distance. The moss creature, shall we say?
I'm hoping to ride the carousel. I usually do every time I come here. This is my ride. This is what I'm gonna take as my ride. I don't know if she has any. It was a long way to climb up here. We are going on the carousel, ready for a journey, ready, set, go. I'm so excited, I love this thing. And the music just does its own thing. I'm holding on tight, here she is, this is my ride. See? I don't know what to name her. Anyways, we're on the carousel. Pretty darn excited, because I'm not the biggest kid ever. If this isn't the most fun you could ever have as a grown up, I don't know what is. Okay, kids can have fun too. Please hold on to the pole in front of you. Please keep your feet at the stirrups and do not move on or off the animals, chariots, or the line of sight or the handstand. If you need help, call out to the operator for assistance. The ride will start when you hold them. Ready, set, go! Oh, here we go! There's the conductor! Crowd here. Woo! Come on, people, let's get loud. Well, that doesn't make you sick, hey? <laughs> Best two bucks money ever spent. I think we're slowing down. Oh, we're slowing down. Because that's not the most fun two bucks can have ever, ever, ever. We're there.
Welcome aboard the Rose Carousel. Please hold on to the floor in front of you. Please keep your feet in the service and do not move on or off the animals, chariots, or the ride itself or the carousel is moving. If you need help, call up to the operator for assistance. The ride will start when you hear the bell. She's going full speed now. There it is, the Rose Carousel. This is called the concert lawn.
Clinton's coming here. Been here on a day before. I have yet to come on an airplane. That'll be the next journey. It says the wharf is closed. Boat owners only.
Auntie Todd Inlet off in the distance.
This courtyard is where they have the ice rink in the winter. Hope I don't miss the bus. I'm not sure exactly what time it's coming, but on my way to the bus. Oh my goodness, the smells are just unreal. 